Hey guys, this is the fourth part of the tutorial in this part. In my third tutorial, what I was doing is uh, basically trying to create a new uh, class, new type script class called card manager, and in that this card manager have just the one method called display. Okay, I will explain to you what this, this display method does. So basically, um, here when the display methods get invoked, starting from right here, uh, let me see if I can put a line number so that I can um so go into text editor and it is for uh, what language javascript text editor go to uh, a typescript that's cool i would like to include the line numbers right here yeah i can do that awesome here's my line number so basically starting with line number a I'm gonna create instance of deck. I have a, remember I already created deck object, and basically I'm creating instance right here. And then it deck has a software method. I'm asking go ahead and shuffle the deck one time. And then once you do finish shuffling, I want to get some card from the deck. So basically, I want to grab a random card in the range from one to nineteen, one to twenty. That's why I have this. You know, just for the fun, I could have done. I can ask whatever number of card. From the deck, but you know, just ask for output. So it has to be less than the total size of them, you know. <laughs> anyway, and after that, once I get the card, I said, okay. Assuming you got the card, and then I'm gonna, I'm basically creating some this, um, this concatenated job, concatenated markup HTML here. So basically, define plain JavaScript. Nothing is here, okay. Um. Just define a variable the card container. It is a deep tag right here, and I want it to float towards the left. And I, at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm calculating the margin left and margin top. And I'll tell you why that is important. And here, I'm basically going over on it. how many cards the deck give me. Like maybe if it's five, then I'm going to do a five iteration. And on each iteration, I'm going to say, okay, this is my card array. And in the given index, if the, the value is defined, and not only that value is important to me, but the property called card image location that is important also because that's where my uh, resource, the card image, is located. Assuming this card, <coughs> excuse me, if card card is defined and this property is also defined, that's awesome. And then I'll basically do a concatenation and create a new div inside that. This is like a parent div and this is child div. Okay. <coughs> excuse me. And then I, I set some CSS right here. I'm gonna some float left and margin left. I'm doing all this reason. Um, and then I'm gonna I I have I, by default I started with zero margin left and zero margin top. And then basically then I create the image here with the up height you know 100 pixel. And of course the source property of that image is very important. It's gonna come out from that my card object. Okay. And the alt is set to empty string in case there is no card and then uh then what i'm doing is like i'm i'm i'm, I'm on each iteration i'm like you know reducing the left margin by 10 pixel and then add, adding the top margin by 30 pixel okay and once all those things is done and basically i'm closing my you know parent container my div and if everything is good let's say it will have you know create this uh, markup for me and then once i go, grab the markup i'm going to say document the body the you know stem of property set that you know dynamic markup into the body and i'm saying okay you know what just for the fun i want you to do every five milliseconds that's what is this set interval method is doing right here and then of course you know once that method is defined then all I have to do basically right here, uh, this is how I, this is, they call like, it's kind of like a lambda expression in C sharp. So basically, I would like to call on document on click. I would like to, you know, execute this little function right here. That's how it is. Right? Basically, I need to, I'm going to click the document. Once the page load, I'm going to click anywhere in the document. This is this, basically this code get executed. All right, that's what it is. And then let's let's go ahead. And okay, other important thing that now you have to do because uh, now basically let's say I'm going to go into default. 
Now, remember like, uh, now we have so many, let's say one, two, three, four different kind of JavaScript file. And the this order is very, very important because remember in our case, we have playing card has a dependency with the suit of the card and the deck has a dependency with the playing card and the card manager has dependency with this. So the order of this one is very, very important when you um, when you you know trying to trying to load the JavaScript. So once you put all this JavaScript, basically remember like. So what I'm doing basically here is a card manager. This is the JavaScript. Here is a card suit, and here is the JavaScript. Here is the playing card. Here is the JavaScript code. Okay. And then finally, that's what I have to do. And everything is good. Then let's hope everything should be. And we should be able to see what this application does. Uh, like I said, you know, you, you have to click somewhere in the document in this page right here. I'm going to go ahead and click. It just randomly loaded those images. And after that, uh, because I have a time interval like five, no, five seconds, after five seconds, it starts, you know, loading again. As you can see, it changed. It skips. That's... So the application just keeps on doing this, this randomly grabs the card, you know, displays it, grabs the card, displays it. The total number of the card would be less than 20 because that's what I have said here. Okay. That is what this application does. Of course, you know, like, um, look how nice it is. I mean, like, I can look at JavaScript, my enumeration in this file, just let's say this. Um, if for some reason if I have to modify this one then I, all I have to do is do the modification in the card suit I just well not, not that one in my ts file if I have to add enumeration I'll just do it here and automatically gets reflected into my you know um, JavaScript file a other important thing it does sometime uh, it creates a mapping file which is look at this mapping file that it's a mapping file it creates and this these are the you know our, our TS file and then corresponding JavaScript so our you know the lambda expression basically uh, converted into uh, oh that's what I wanted to show you the last thing and here's my card manager and inside my card manager, see all it did was basically remember like we had this lambda kind of thing going on. It all it did is a document on play. This is a pure JavaScript right here. This basically created an instance of this guy and card manager and called the display method. And the cool thing, it's a really cool thing, is we can debug our JavaScript if we if we prefer to. Um, let's see. Let's start debugging. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's run it. Uh, let's go F12 and go to a script and let's find out. Uh, let's go to the card manager right here and let's put a breakpoint right here in line number 32. Okay, insert breakpoint here. Okay, and then now go ahead and click. For some reason, why it didn't go into didn't go into my breakpoint from here from the from the let's 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 run this one in the Firefox and Chrome of the browser. Make sure it works. Grab the URL. Alright, great. It works here too in, in, in a Chrome browser. Do uh, F12. Let me see if I can debug this guy here. 